Folks, welcome into another edition of Hot Topics here with PubSportsRadio.com. Of course, it's me and Jeff. It's what we do. We talk about sports, even if they're not going on in the field. You voted for it and you got it. Jamie Winston, Jeff, topic of the day. Yeah, this has been a, a topic that I have kind of been wanting to talk about. I, I don't understand the kind of the, the odd issue of him still not having a team. And I'm, I'm sure he'll get one eventually. But question is, is he going to start for that team? Is he going to be a backup? What's his role going to be? Yeah, no, that's what that's the good part about it is we can spend a couple minutes to see, you know, almost take you through the steps. Because obviously, if you filter back number one overall player in the draft, you could see the talent is apparent. Now, last year in the offense threw for a lot of touchdowns on a lot of yards, but also a lot of turnovers. But Jeff, we're talking about a quarterback needy league, a guy with pedigree, a guy who shows flashes that he can dominate and win big games a la in college. And he doesn't have a team right now. We're still ready to filter out where he's going to go. So we can go step by step on this. He does have talent, but he does bring a little bit of baggage. What type of teams will be willing, Jeff, to step in and say, you know what? Let me give him a chance. Yeah, I, I mean, he threw for over 5,100 yeah. yards last year. I mean, this is a guy that has been able to move the football and, and create a lot of offense. Obviously, the interceptions were an issue. But I, I think it's important to mention, Donnie, you look at last year, he had 30 interceptions. Up until then, he's never thrown more than 18 interceptions in a season. Um, so, again, I, I think that's important. Obviously, that some of the season didn't play full years, but I, I know it's an issue, and I know it's something that, from an immaturity standpoint, he needs to figure out and wisen up a bit. Um, you know, he's at this point where you know, he's got to figure out, you know, is he going to be a professional in this league or not? I mean, he's 26 years old. He's not a kid anymore. It's time to take some, um, you know, some of your own, you know, stuff and run with it. But, you know, Donnie, I think the issue that he's had, and, and I think until he has, he won't really change. He needs a, a, a quote-unquote coach that can lead him, a guy that can, you know, mentor him, you know, tell him how to do things the right way, guide him, put him into a right situation. I've talked about for weeks, I think the Pittsburgh Steelers should sign him. This is a team that has failed miserably at finding a quarterback. It's amazing, Donnie, that a team that's done so well on the defensive side of the football to find guys, they continuously miss at the quarterback position. And that's not been a year or two. It's been years. I mean, Landry Jones, Josh Dobbs, Paxton Lynch, D D Devlin Hodges, Mason Rudolph. None of these guys are capable replacements for Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger is 38 years old. Okay, he's only got a year or two left. He gets injured constantly. There needs to be a contingency plan here because at the end of the day, this team is solid. They have a good defense. They have a great offensive line. They have a full complement of players this year that are going to come back. You know, Washington, Schuster, James Conner. Th this is a team that can contend to get to the playoffs. The problem is if Ben goes down, you completely have nothing. Neither quarterback last year showed you that they can contend and play in this league as a number one starter. Go out and get Jameis Winston. He has played in a backup role before. Uh, he seemed to be pretty uh, excited about it. Uh, and I think at some point he's going to have a, an opportunity to play. I think it'll allow also for Mike Tomlin to really kind of mentor the kid. I think he would relate well um, to, to him. Other, you know, Obviously, outside of like a you – know, like Bruce Aarons and Dirk Cutter, I, I just didn't think related to him real well. I think Tomlin could be a real good uh, kind of mentor to him. Yeah, sometimes change of scenery is good, but you do bring up a pretty good concept here because when you take a look at the really good organizations, the teams that draft well, the teams that have stability at head coach, let's just use a few even in the AFC. Like if you take a look at like the Ravens and how they came in with Lamar Jackson, you take a look at obviously Mike Tomlin at Steelers organization from ownership all the way down to coaches as well as New England Patriots with Robert Kraft, Bill Belichick. When you bring a player in and you can, you know, trouble baggage. I mean, a lot of these players have baggage and a little bit of a trouble path. But you see that the talent is there. And when really good coaching staffs, Jeff, step in and hone that player, not the way they want him to play, but say, you know what? Here's his skill set. Here's what he does really good. Those organizations are able to do it. Now, my question with you is I like the idea of the Pittsburgh Steelers. I know people watch this video. Oh, no way. You're going to take Jameis Winston. But you're looking at Big Ben. How long is his shelf life? An older quarterback, Jeff, with an arm, in, not a knee injury, not a leg injury, an arm injury, which we don't know how much longer it's going to last. And how many times has Big Ben over the past, what, two to three years contemplating retirement coming in? The question I have for you in this spot is forget about the Pittsburgh Steelers overall as an organization. Do you think Big Ben would probably try to put the kibosh on a young upstart sitting behind him where 
if it doesn't work out that well with the fan, like he gets replaced? Is that something that well, you have to think, watch out for? Well, I think Ben needs to realize that the team's going to have to do the best they can for the situation that they have. Eventually, they're going to have to create a contingency plan, and there are teams that don't necessarily do it. Uh, but you're right. I mean, Ben's a guy that I don't think is at the level – He's at the level of, of play. He can still move around, but I mean, he's going to have to realize they're going to have to do what they have to do to, to prepare for when he's not there. And Donnie, the truth of the matter is he's been one of the most beaten up quarterbacks in his career. Uh, he's constantly out. He constantly isn't able to play. Um, you have to wonder how much time he has left. And you know, they're going to have to figure this out. It's not like they haven't done it before, Donnie. They've been trying to replace him for years. I mean, they, they've brought in quarterback after quarterback. The problem is, and I said this last year, and I think you agreed, they showed their hand. They've showed their hand. They have nowhere to go outside of Ben Roethlisberger. It's time to wake up and stop with this, you know, uh, filling in and, and trying to find guys just to play for six games. You need an option down the road. It's time to wake up and smell the coffee, Pittsburgh, because they've – I don't know how – I've never seen a team – maybe outside of the Broncos that's this bad at, at finding a capable quarterback replacement. They just strike out time and time again. It's odd because, as I said, on defense on the defensive side, they continue to uh, continue to marvel at, at some of the things they do. They, they just find guys that, that have the ability to play. It, it's odd. Yeah, like one question for you here also, Jeff. When we take a look, the one team that keeps coming up to me, which I think they're going to need an improvement, I still think they're going to make some moves, outside of the New England Patriots, who I do still think are going to try to upgrade at the quarterback position. All eyes are on a team in Los Angeles moving into a new building that seemingly said, hey, we're going to go Tyrod Taylor. If you ask me right now, just right off the top, a legitimate defense with a lot of offensive talent, wouldn't they be better all served by taking a flyer on Jamie Winston as opposed could. to saying, we know what we got on Tyrod Taylor? Yeah, I mean, they definitely could. Yeah. I, I think they have their eyes set on the draft. I think they're going to try to make a move and get up higher and maybe try to get a two attack of L. They're mm -hmm. going to be able to take Justin Herbert if that's who they want. He'll be there when they pick. Uh, just a question of, look, we know it's not going to be Tyrod Taylor. That, that's just a guy to put there right now for the foreseeable future. Um, I think they attacked the draft, uh, but you're right. I mean, Jameis, I think, is – if I'm looking at Dalton, Winston, and, and Newton, I want Winston more than anybody. I mean, th this guy can play. I mean, it w I think we have a problem in this in this sports world of, of looking at one season saying, well, that's who he is. Look, I know he has turnover problems. That, that's fine. But the guy also threw for 33 touchdowns and had 5,000 yards passing. So the guy can move the ball. I think a change of senior will do him well. I think a leader as a coach will do him well. He, it, You have this problem a lot, Donnie, in, in football, where you just have a guy that never has been led by anyone. Baker Mayfield, you wonder if he'll be in that kind of level where he just never has the right leadership uh, around him to help him. But yeah, I, I think I think Pittsburgh needs to wake up and, and smell the coffee here. No, it, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Have a lot of time up the draft. We're going to have a lot more coverage on that. As again, it's hot topics of the day. You guys vote on that stuff. We'll put them out. We'll keep on giving you the information you need, even if sports, as we say, Jeff, aren't going on right now on the field. Jeff, I haven't done this yet. Let me let you close this hot topic video down. Well, I thank everyone for watching. Make sure you check out PubSearchRadio.com. Not only are you going to see these videos, but I blog quite uh, frequently. Mm -hmm. Other guys blog quite frequently. I'm, I'm putting out stuff every week. So make sure you check it out. Make sure you support uh, kind of the homegrown places. You know, some of these big corporations, they're going to find a way to get through. But, you know, the, the, some of these small spots, they can have some of the best writers and people doing content. So make sure you check it out. Make sure you support people. Uh, that's what we have to do in this country, support people right now. Uh, we'll all get through this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.